Hey guys, in this video I wanted to cover a little more detail about gears and pulleys. Gears, as you know, uh, connect directly to the motor and uh, they align really well but and they provide a really strong uh, connection. Uh, pulleys, on the other hand, they provide a flexible connection. Uh, they're not very sturdy, they may fall off and break. Uh, anyway, let's understand a little bit more about the gating ratios, uh, RPM and torque. So here's two pulleys. One of the pulleys has a diameter of four inches. The smaller one below has two inches. For every one revolution of the larger pulley, you notice the smaller pulley goes around twice. So it has two revolutions. So one revolution of the larger four inch diameter pulley corresponds to two revolutions of the two inch pulley. And from this, we can look at gears as well. And uh, what we can tell is that if you have different size of gears, you have the smaller gear that is moving at 200 revolutions per minute. The larger gear correspondingly moves at 100 RPM and then there's another third one here that moves at 150 RPM. Now if you were to look at the sizes and compare the sizes, you count the number of teeth. The smaller pulley has about 10 teeth, the larger one has about 20 teeth and this uh, intermediate one has about 15 teeth. So the number of teeth corresponds to the overall diameter and the circumference of the gears and that's how you get the different gearing ratio. So this is, these are aligned at uh, 2 is to 1 is to 1.5 and therefore you get this RPM of 200 RPM, 100 RPM and 150 RPM. Uh, let's look at a little bit uh, about the torque. So if you notice that the smaller pulley here, let's say if that was the driving pulley, it exerts a force F in that direction upwards as each of this, its tooth uh, push the teeth of the other gray pulley. The gray pulley in turn, because of that force, experiences a torque at its center. So if there was a shaft connected at the center, it experiences a twisting force, which is called as a torque. And this torque is dependent upon the force multiplied by the distance which is r so larger the distance which means greater the radius or the diameter of the gear the higher is going to be the force so it's force times the distance which is equivalent to this twisting torque now the smaller gear here will have a lower torque the larger gear here is going to have a larger torque because of the bigger radius or the larger distance from the center of the applying force. If you want to learn more about torque, there's a lot of uh, beautiful videos on YouTube. You can go search up uh, torque and you'll probably get a few. If you can't find one, uh, send me a comment and I'll, I'll post a couple of links for you to understand torque in detail. I want to show you now how a pulley can work in a battery buggy. So you see here there's a motor that's attached to one of the smaller pulleys uh, and it's connected to a larger pulley which is connected to the axle and the axle is connected to the wheels so all of the systems are connected and uh, this as the smaller pulley is going to move it's going to move the larger pulley in the bottom which is the black pulley and that's going to help rotate the wheels so uh, let's let's see how this might work as i flip the switch on you can see the motor is rotating the pulleys and they are both connected through this uh, rubber band or the string and uh, it's moving the axle and that's how the wheels are rotating. So were you able to learn something from this video? Well let me know in the comments section below.